It is time for this week's Tech Talk segment, and we're checking in with Lou Norman from Enormous Mobile Specialty to see what he has in store for us today. Good morning to you, Lou. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Tom. I'm not in my gob shirt I'm in my turtleneck today. It's a little cold out. Today we are talking, since it's cold out, we're talking about what we're, there's a lot of interest in in our shop, we get emails, we get phone calls, we get messages on Facebook. The remote car start, the ability to hit a button, start your vehicle up, let the windows get warm, let the ice and snow melt, let it slide off the windows. You still gotta go out there though and clean off the rest of it. You wanna make sure your windows are clear. Sometimes people will ask me, they'll say, hey Lou, I want a remote start. What's your price? Well, we have to ask some questions to be able to answer that question. And we're going to ask things like, well, currently, what year is your vehicle? What's the make? What's the model? Do you have a vehicle that is a push-to-start vehicle? Or do you have one of those vehicles where you turn a key? Uh, do you have a separate remote control that locks and unlocks the doors? Or is that all built in one unit? We're going to ask, is it an automatic transmission? Or is it a stick? Is it a standard? Normally they're all automatics, but sometimes one sneaks in, it's a manual, and then we're like, well, there's some extra things involved to do that kind of vehicle. We're also going to ask, is it a gift? And we're going to ask about the person that's getting it. Are they retired? Maybe do they work somewhere, say, at a local hospital downtown where the vehicle's parked far away from where they work? So these are important questions we're going to ask to make sure we get you what you need and to dispel some of the myths that are out there about remote starts installing a remote start in your car does not automatically void the warranty on your vehicle if someone tells you that they're in violation of federal law we do not cut the wires in your vehicle unless absolutely necessary in fact our team of MECP certified technicians will install vehicle specific remote starts. So if you have a Honda, if you have a Nissan, a Mazda, a Dodge, a GM, a Chevy, a Buick, we're going to put a remote start in that is specifically designed for that car. The remote start is going to talk to your vehicle so everything's going to work properly and cohesively so we don't end up with issues. Because we all want a remote start, it's going to be reliable, not cause any problems. Something else I wanted to mention too, if you're getting a remote start as a gift for someone and maybe they're not at our shop when the car is picked up, make sure they come back so we can explain the remote start, how it works, and everything surrounding the remote start. It's not uncommon that the person that finally gets it, maybe it's mom, maybe it's dad, maybe it's a son or daughter, they get the remote start. They weren't given instructions on how to use it or exactly how it works or unintended consequences. Have that person come in. Let us show them how that technology works in their vehicle so they can be happy. For more information, go to our website. It's enormous.net. That's www.enormis.net and we can answer your questions. Dave and Tom, back to you. And I think, I think Fonzie, I think Fonzie wore a gob shirt, didn't he? Ah, a nice rebound there for uh, Lou Norman. Yes, he did wear a gob shirt that we know better as a t-shirt. There we go. The man knows his happy days. Thank you, Lou.